this World Environment Day, we're asking everyone to join the global movement to restore our lands, to build drought resilience and to combat desertification. Because land degradation and desertification affect over 3 billion people. Freshwater ecosystem also degraded, making it harder to grow crops and to raise livestock. This disproportionately affects smallholder farmers and of course the rural poor. But nature is resilient. By restoring ecosystem, we can slow the triple planetary crisis, the crisis of climate change, the crisis of nature and biodiversity loss, including desertification, and of course, the crisis of pollution and waste. We can help to reverse biodiversity loss by 2030 in line with the global biodiversity framework. And we can get closer to keeping the global temperatures in line with the Paris Agreement by increasing carbon storage, including in the peatlands. And we can reduce poverty and food insecurity in line with the SDGs. Work has begun. The UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration is backing commitments to restore 1 billion hectares of land, an area larger than China. Last year, six countries pledged to restore 300,000 kilometers of rivers and 350 million hectares of wetlands. At the 6th United Nations Environment Assembly in February, nations agreed to strengthen sustainable land management. And later this year, the three Rio conventions, the one on climate, the one on biodiversity, and the one on desertification, are each holding a conference of party, or COP, to push further the ambitions of these conventions. Land restorations can be a golden thread that ties these together, ties together action and ambition across all these three important gatherings. So we must make this work count. I thank the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for hosting World Environment Day 2024. On this important day, I ask everyone to join Generation Restoration. Our land is our future and we must protect it. Thank you.